G'day everybody and welcome to Wine Passion TV. I'm Sam Scapari. I'm in the winery today. Um, yeah, I'm in the winery. Just in the winery. Got some barrels behind me. Seraphim. 2012. I'm doing Shiraz and I like Shiraz and I think you might know that I like Shiraz just like Chardonnay. I love Chardonnay. Today I'm doing a Victorian Chardonnay, or Australian Chardonnay, from Victoria, made by a Frenchman. Uh, for, those of you, for those of you in the know, you'll know of a French producer called Michel Chaputier. Uh, he makes predominantly wine out of the Rhone Valley, but he also makes, he has his fingers in a lot of pies. Um, he's well known for making very, 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 very high-end Rhones, as well as value play Rhone um, reds and whites. Um, he has a project here in Australia where he has vineyards in the uh, central Victoria, um, Pyrenees, um, places where they predominantly grow cool climate, uh, Shiraz, as well as in Heathcote where we know about the famous soils of the Heathcote region. Anyway, to cut a long story short, he, he sees an opportunity to make high-end Shiraz um, from select vineyards that represent the soil, the climate, and he puts his own take on these wines. So the wines that he does over there are done in a similar way to, to, the, to where he does them over here. Over here. That makes sense. Um, so this is a $15 one. This is the um, 2009, currently the 2010 is out, the Domain Tunon, I can say that right. Very, very, very good wines. 15 bucks. A lot of this fruit hails from the cooler climate um, vineyards in the, in the Pyrenees. So it's gonna be a less um, upfront style. It's a little bit more restrained. It's got a lot of that peppery, spicy note. It's, they've used some, you know, some pretty smart oak in this, but it's not overbearing. It is basically in the style of his Rhone wines. Expression of fruit, expression of soil, exp expression, minimal intervention. So straight off the bat, I'll get the beautiful fruit, I'll get a bit of peppery spice. It just, it's, it's, it's quite a complex wine for the price. A nice bit of floral, like a floral violet type thing, like a, like a, a flowery, um, Violet purple notes. It's got purple notes going on. Mm. The whole mouth gets coated with a with a, li a lick of spice, and the spice goes right through to the finish. But woven into that is is a is a white peppery white peppery blueberry it's really hard to explain but it just it's woven through the pepper the spice the fruit the oak there's a hint a little hint of chocolate there but also savory like a savory meat comes to comes to mind when you when you're swallowing this baby this is sensational this is really really worth getting it's a 15 dollar wine um, and, I, and I think that this thing could probably go for another few a few years. It's dense. You can see the colour of it. It's nice, nice and dense. It just represents cool climate Shiraz at its best. And this fella is so passionate about you know sustainability, organic farming, um, and you know minimal intervention in his winemaking. And it shows through. And you don't have to pay big bucks for for awesome Shiraz or Syrah, as it's got on the label, Syrah or Shiraz. So find this, Michel Chaputier, he also does a heap of Rhone, Rhone varieties, he does uh, Rhone reds, he also does whites, he does stuff out of the Languedoc, which is in the south of France. He has his fingers in a lot of pies and the quality of his product is second to none. So go find yourself some. Another passionate episode by, uh, by yours truly and um, I'll hope to see you again very soon with episode with the next episode. Cheers.